I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple yet uh, good Python tutorial for your portfolios that um, you can upload on GitHub and it's a screen recorder. So let's go over the lines of code. So the main uh, first code you need to download, uh, we'll download and install three main packages. The first one is PyAutoGui and I kept a link here so let's just open it. Um, the main thing is anything like when you start doing Python, you want to make sure you have references and links to different packages. So when you start different projects or, you know, work on anything for that matter, um, you pretty much, you know, like, hey, this package does this set of functions. That package does that set of functions. So you pretty much have a good reference list. So pretty much what this does is um, it the PyAutoGui function pretty much has, a, it does a lot of image recognition and it helps to automate certain tasks on your functions. And when you go here, um, you know, we won't uh, talk about this too much, but pretty much, you know, you can go on here and, you know, see the different mouse functions or keyboard functions or message functions for that matter, which will be a separate tutorial that I'll make. Uh, the one that's going to be relevant um, for our lines of code is uh, the screenshot function, which we'll talk about later. So after that, you want to install um, the CV2 uh, package, and that's just video recording. And the third one you want to install is NumPy, um, the NumPy package, and that has to do with the logistical and variable analysis. And the reason we need to install this is because there's a function in our while loop that has to do with numpy.array in which we need um, pretty much take a screenshot of our, uh, our screen recording. So after we install, um, you know, those three packages, oh, on a side note, if you don't have these packages installed, you need to um, go on your terminal window, uh, create a new window and do pip install PyAutoGui, CV2, and or uh, NumPy, if you don't have any of them installed. So the first thing is we need to create a recording function. It's called CV2.VideoWriter. Uh, and within that, there's four different parameters, uh, your file name, codec, FPS, and resolution. Uh, resolution um, and FPS, FPS has to do with refresh rate. Um, since I have a new MacBook Air, I just set it to you know, the specifications of that. So the resolution is in 2K, which is 2560 by 1600. And since uh, the MacBook Air has 120 Hertz refresh rate, we set the FPS equal to that. Um, secondly, uh, the codec function pretty much means like, you know, what do you want? Like, you know, when you create a video file, whether it's .mp4, .mov, or dot whatever avi or whatnot um that pretty much just relates to that um you know what do you want your video to like save as pretty much so the function with that is cv2.videowriter underscore 4cc and i chose to say mine as an mp4 file so you have to do m comma p comma 4 comma v which is pretty much in the function for cc and you have to separate that and your file name is just what you want to say the file as so pretty much after you do that that's like the brunt of the code and the next thing you have to do is just create a, a while loop um first thing is you want to take a screenshot um of your file so that we named that function video frame and then you want to write what it's recording on that screenshot not write it in a sense like with pen and paper, but it pretty much just tells the computer, hey, when this function runs and whatever he's recording within that screenshot, it shows like, hey, he did this, he did that. Primarily has to do with if you have like external monitor set up and whatnot. And after you do that, um, the I am show function just pretty much, you know, gives the title to you know, the screen recording. And then when you're done with your screen recording and you want to stop it, you have to do a, a if loop and break it. And we pretty much set the stop function. I set it equal to S. So S equals stop. 
and after the while loop um, after the while loop is done uh, we do a function called cv2 destroy all windows so it basically automatically exits out of all windows so you don't have to do that manually and that's pretty much uh, the end of the code I'm gonna be uploading it to my YouTube channel so you guys can comment um, any questions or ideas that you have that I maybe could do you know explain it furthermore in a different tutorial so yeah thank you so much um, you know thanks for everyone in advance for watching this tutorial and you know be on the lookout for more um, uploading on my YouTube channel